Hi everybody, so I'm just hanging out in my basement doing shipping because that's where I do it these days. And I saw this wire here and it made me think about the concept of ground uh, because it is going to the ground. And ground is such a fundamental concept for electronics and audio, but it really, I think it eludes a lot of people. It certainly eluded me for quite a while. And I think it's partially because it's simpler than it seems. Um, at least the very basics of it are. So let's look at this wire and uh, see if we can make it more clear. So this is a bare copper wire and it's attached to a pipe here and that pipe goes into the ground. Uh, and you might hear a lot of different words for ground and audio, audio ground, power ground, etc. If you hear earth ground, uh, Earth ground is a great uh, redundancy. Uh, that's what we're talking about here. Uh, the ground that actually goes into the ground. Um, and we use that in audio uh, for really two main purposes. The first is protection. Um, so that's why they started putting the third pin on power outlets. Uh, I don't know how long ago. That pin is this wire. Uh, all of it all of those in all the outlets get connected to this wire because uh, if you have metal appliances like uh, a 500 series rack, um, if something were to go wrong in here and the power somehow got shorted to the case, the case is metal and if you touch the case, you're gonna get shocked. Um, but if the electricity, uh, if that power has a better place, a better way to get to the ground than through your body, it will do that. Um, so that's what that wire provides. So I've got a multimeter here and this is a fun kind of, you know, elementary school science trick uh, to measure my resistance. So just between my two hands here, it's like four mega ohms or something. So I'm not a great conductor, um, but you could get to the ground through me. Um, but this would be more like one ohm from my bedroom two floors above. Uh, so the electrons are going to want to go through there instead of through me. And this reveals kind of perhaps the main principle of electronics, which is that all an electron wants to do is go to the ground and die. And everything else is us just making it take a circuitous path and do some work for us along the way. Uh, but if you give an electron a direct path to the ground, it's not going to do any of that work. It's not going to bother shocking you. It's just going to go right through that wire to the ground. Uh, which leads us to the second use for earth ground in audio, which is uh, getting noise out of the system. So as a metal box, uh, this is also an OK antenna. So it will pick up uh, electromagnetic interference, uh, radio frequencies, uh, Christian radio especially. Um, and uh, it's true for some reason, uh, it's very easy to demodulate um, AM Christian radio by putting your finger in different points. Don't do that. Definitely don't do that. I'm not telling you to do that. Um, anyway. That's all noise that could potentially make it into the audio path because that noise, just like every other electron, it just wants to go to the ground. You let it go to the ground. And if the audio path is the best way for it to get to the ground, it's going to do that. And that's when you get weird radio stations in your mixes uh, or in your tracks, which we don't want. So we give it a better path to the ground by connecting the case and anything in the case that's touch or anything in the circuit that's touching the case, like for example, these um, brackets here, we connect all that to the chassis pins. Uh, oh shoot, we're getting into the confusing terminology of ground here. Uh, I'm just gonna stick to earth ground. We, get, we connect those to the earth ground pins here, which then go to this wire, which go to the ground, again, without going through the audio path, uh, skipping the audio path the way that we skipped your body in the protection example. Um, so that's really it. Really simple. Um, ground in at least earth ground in audio is just giving harmful currents a way to get to the ground without getting into your body or into the audio path. Uh, a couple takeaways. So 
One, that's why we have three pins in balanced connections. One is the earth ground, the other two are signal. And that's why balanced connections are so great. The signal and the earth ground get separate highways to go where they want to go. Um, and same with power connections. If you see a power connector with more than two pins, you can bet that one of those is dedicated for the earth ground so that currents can flow right there without having to mess up anything else. If you see a power connector like a DC barrel connector with two pins or less, couldn't really be less, with, with only two pins, you know that there's something not ideal going on where the audio ground has to be mixed with the earth ground before it leaves the case and you can make that work. There's certainly some very good gear that uses barrel connectors, but it's not ideal. Um, it can lead to almost always you will find some way to connect it up that you get some weird noise. And that's because the earth ground with all that noise and the audio ground, which we want to be as clean and pristine as possible, are getting mixed before they need to be. Um, so yeah, I hope that that uh, little uh, basement ramble is helpful for you to clarify a little bit what ground is about in audio. So thanks for watching.